welcome students to epg patsala i am subrat kumar acharya from ravensa university katak odisha today we shall discuss on one of the important aspects of indian epigraphy that is ancient indian numerals in this model we shall discuss certain objectives the main objective of this model is to get familiar with the numerous systems of notations known to the people living in the past it is also important to focus on how and when the decimal system of notation that people across the world use today was invented in india and the knowledge flowed out of it and transmitted to other countries in course of time so we have two objectives in this model first of all we shall talk about the numerical system of notation this is the earliest system of notation that was prevalent in india this system of notation uh, was used in early india and this is evident from the inscriptions found from uh, different parts of india particularly from the time of ashoka and onwards mauryan period onwards now in the brahmi script we find this notational system was prevalent and starting from the time of ashoka uh, almost continuously most of the ruling dynasties or ruling families of india like the satavahanas the kushanas the guptas and others they continued this system so the prevalent practice uh, in early india was the numerical system of notation and it is a very peculiar method of notation that was known to the indians uh, and prior to the uh, commencement or uh, prior to the practice of decimal place value notation this particular system was prevalent throughout india and this is known as the numerical system of notation and in this numerical system the first three numerals are expressed by 1 2 and 3 horizontal strokes from 4 to 9 there are special symbols there is also the a distinct figure for each of the orders of numbers such as 10 and its multiple up to 90 as has also uh, separate signs for a 100 for a 1000 thus there are 20 basic signs first three numbers are there then 4 to 9 there are special symbols 10 and, and its multiples there are special symbols up to 90 and there is also a separate sign for a 100 and a 1000 all total there are 20 basic signs and the intermediate units are expressed by simply adding their signs the ashokan rock edicts furnish the earliest evidence of the use of numerical symbol minor rock edicts found from rampurba uh, uh, gurjara sidhapur eragudi and at many places we find the uh, figure 256 or 256 that is mentioned in the rock, ashokan rock edicts now after the ashokan rock edicts in the inscriptions of the satavahanas and kushanas we also find at number of places the uh, use of this numerical system of notation particularly in the nanghat cave inscription we find there are a number of examples where the uh, numerical system of notation was used similarly in the kushana inscriptions we find the use of the system of notation Uh, it is also found in the coins and inscriptions of the western khatrapas who were ruling in gujarat region and uh, the highest number expressed is 70000 in one of the inscriptions of the satavahanas and this is known from the nanaghat inscription of nayanika uh, who was uh, the queen of satakarni first now uh, so far the system which of notation is concerned Uh, you can see very well uh, in this slide one is expressed by a single horizontal stroke two is expressed by two horizontal strokes three is expressed by three horizontal strokes from 4 to 9 you find separate symbols four is having a cross uh, with a top stroke above five is a vertical with a slanting stroke on the uh, right side six is the sign as mentioned as specified here seven is also uh, 
a left facing curve, 8 is a right facing curve and 9 is also a left facing curve. Similarly, from 10 to 90, uh, we have at least 9 symbols and the 9 symbols are uh, the multiples, 10 and its multiples, 10 is expressed by a circle with 2 strokes, 20 is almost a circle, similarly 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90 are denoted by separate symbols. Here you can uh, see the figure of 90 and 80 and 90. 80 is uh, a circle and a vertical, it is expressed by a circle and a vertical, 90 is having a cross mark inside the a circle. Similarly, there are uh, separate signs or symbols for 100 and 1000. So, all total if you count, so uh, there are 20 symbols, 20 symbols in this numerical system of notation and uh, these are the symbols again uh, made in the first row you, would, you can find 9 symbols and in the second row you can find again 9 symbols and in the third row you can find a symbol for a 100 and a symbol for 1000. Here you can find that how uh, 200 is expressed. Now 200 is expressed by adding a stroke to the right of the symbol for 100. Similarly, 500 is expressed by adding the symbol of 5 to the right of the symbol 10, uh, 100 and uh, uh, the two symbols 100 and 5 they are connected by a separate stroke. Similarly, 1000 uh, is there and if you want to write 4000, you have to put this symbol for 4 on the right side of 1000 and uh, both the symbols are to be connected by a separate uh, stroke. Similarly, 70000, here you see you can see the figure 70000 uh, that is expressed, uh, the symbol for 1000 is there and the symbol for seven. Uh, uh, 70 is added to the right of the symbol for 1000. And uh, now we shall come to the working of the system, how the system was working and basically this system of numerical notation is an additive and multiplicative system. By uh, the word additive and multiplicative we can gather an idea that it is uh, at the same time an additive and multiplicative system means uh, some uh, numbers are to be added and some are to be multiplied to get the desired uh, number. Now in order to express, now let me cite an example, in order to express this number 777, first of all the symbol for 100 with the symbol for 7 attached to it on the right is to be written. Then the symbol for 70 is to be inscribed and finally the symbol for 70 is to be placed. So first of all we have to uh, uh, write 100 and it is, uh, uh, it is to be added with the symbol for 7 to express 700. So here 100 is multiplied with 7 to express 700. Then the symbol for 70 will be inscribed and finally a separate symbol for 7 is to be placed uh, to its right. Now the symbol for 700 is in fact expressed in a multiplicative manner because 100 is uh, multiplied with 7, 100 into 7 is equal to 700 while the other two symbols such as 70 and 7 are added to get the required number. Now this is an indigenous system that was practiced, practiced by uh, the ancient people of India. But there is a controversy regarding the origin of the system. Some scholars they say that uh, it was uh, invented outside India and it was brought to India by some uh, ancient people. But some other scholars say that uh, it was originated in India and uh, there is a lot of debate among um, uh, the scholars throughout the latter part of 19th century and uh, throughout 20th century, but uh, it appears uh, that the system was origin originated in India. Now uh, if you look back uh, to this debate, Prince was probably the first to believe 
that the numerical symbols derived from the characters for the initial letter of the Sanskrit word for each number. Uh, it was Bhagwan Lal Indraji who in the year 1877 uh, advanced another theory that rests on the assumption that all the numerical symbols excepting the first three were denoted by either letters or group of letters. So, Bhagwan Lal Indraji uh, for the first time uh, opined that possibly the numerical systems, uh, the numerical symbols, they denoted some uh, letters or some uh, syllables. Now, uh, there is another group of scholars who uh, op uh, opine that the system originated in some foreign countries like uh, Egypt or uh, Babylon and then uh, it was transmitted to India and uh, the proponents of this foreign origin system uh, were mainly Cunningham and E.C. Bailey. Alexander Cunningham inclined to believe that the Brahmi symbols from 5 to 9 resemble the Aryan or Pali or Kharosthi letters for initial symbols of the words for each number. But this superficial resemblance log back rejected. E.C. Bailey opined that the Brahmi numerical system was derived from various sources like Phoenician, Egyptian, Bactrian and possibly from cuneiform. So, E.C. Bailey uh, is of the opinion that the uh, numerical system of notation in Brahmi was derived from different sources like Phoenicians, Egyptians, Bactrians and also from uh, cuneiform. But this uh, is also not tenable because we see that the numerical system of notation was basically uh, an Indian origin and it was practiced by the ancient people at least starting from the Mauryan period when the Brahmi was used by the uh, rulers and the people for writing uh, the inscriptions. Now, uh, we shall talk about another system of notation uh, that was current in India after the numerical system of notation and that is the decimal place value notation. And this system was used by people throughout India to throughout the world today. And uh, there is also a controversy regarding the origin of the decimal system. We shall come uh, to this later on. And this system of notation, uh, in this system of notation, decimal system notation, there are only 9 unit figures and a 0. And it is a place value notational system. And the system was originated in India. It was later on taken by the Arabs to Persia. And then the Europeans borrowed the system from the Arabs. Hence, it, it is often called as Hindu-Arabic or Indo-Arabic numerals. The Indian astronomers and mathematicians used uh, uh, this system uh, in their works. Now, although there is some controversy regarding the origin of the decimal place value system, we find that this system was particularly originated in India by the astronomers and mathematicians of the Gupta period. Now, Baramira in his Panchasiddhantika uses this system. For the first time, we come across the use of this system in Baramira's work, Panchasiddhantika. And the work was composed at Vijayani in the year in Sakaira 427 or uh, 505 Kamanera. Later on, it was also used by Bhaskara in his commentary on Arjavatyam. So, Bhaskara and Baramira were the two first uh, astronomers and mathematicians who had um, used in their works this decimal place value system. And uh, so far as the inscription uh, is concerned, the Mankani grant of Taralaswami is dated in Kalachuri era for 346 uh, equivalent to 594-95 Kaman era. And this inscription is considered as the earliest epigraph in India where the decimal system uh, of notation was used. And the, uh, this particular inscription is again uh, a controversial um, inscription because some scholars uh, dubbed it as um, a spurious document while some other scholars relied on uh, this inscription as a genuine one. Anyhow, uh, the uh, use of the decimal place value notation by Baramira and Bhaskara in their astronomical works and the date of the Mankani uh, inscription of Taralaswami uh, coincides and that is why 
uh, some scholars believe that it was a genuine uh, uh, document and the decimal place value was uh, perfectly used in this document. Now there was also a transitional phase and this phase is very important because all on a sudden when the decimal place value system was used by uh, the astronomers, so there was a, some sort of confusion among the uh, writers in the court and even uh, by, the, uh, by, uh, by the common man in India. So there was a transitional phase in uh, uh, whether to uh, accept totally the numerical system of notation or to use totally the decimal uh, system of notation. People were confused to use um, or distinguish uh, the method of using these two system of, system of notation. And the transition from the numerical to decimal system took several centuries. Uh, if we call that uh, uh, the decimal system was used in the 6th century um, common era, then it took at least 3-4 centuries to uh, comprehend the system and to get the system used in the inscriptional literature. The Eastern Ganga records exhibit how the new system was used alongside the old one. The Eastern Gangas were ruling over the Kalinga region that is in the southern part of Orisha and northern part of Andhra Pradesh and in their inscription we find uh, there are a number of examples where the numerical system of notation was used alongside the decimal system of notation and that is why there was a big confusion among the writers of the court um, how to uh, get perfection in the use of the decimal system of notation. The scribes in the court could not properly comprehend the place value notational system and wrongly use the symbols in engraving the numbers. In Eastern India, the Siddhantam plates of Devendra Burman displays the earliest example of the use of the new system. It may be noted here that the Eastern Gangas had founded an era and the beginning of era is in the uh, year 498 AD and the Siddhantam copper plate grant of Devendra Burman, it is dated in 195. Uh, Ganga era and it comes to uh, 693 common era. So that was the uh, first inscription where uh, we uh, find the proper correct use of the decimal system of notation in uh, eastern part of India. Now outside India this system was also used uh, in some of the stone inscriptions found from uh, Southeast Asia and uh, most of the uh, dates are mentioned in the Sakha era. At least three inscriptions of Sri Vijaya, um, uh, two found at Palembang in Sumatra and the third one uh, found from the island of Banka mention the dates in Sakha 605 equivalent to 683 Kaman era. The other one is uh, 606 uh, Sakha era equivalent to 684 Kaman era and the third one is 608 Sakha era equivalent to 686 common era and all the three inscriptions are used in decimal figures. So numerical system of notation was not uh, practiced in the Southeast Asian inscriptions, some of the Southeast Asian uh, inscriptions and from the later part of uh, 7th century common era, uh, we find the perfect use of the decimal system um, in Southeast Asia. Thus, by the close of the 7th century, the system was transmitted to Cambodia and Indonesia. Now, coming to the decimal figures, we have 9 figures, 9 figures, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 figures and there is also uh, a circle denoting 0. So, there are 10, uh, 9 figures and a 0. So, the, and these, uh, these figures are used as Nagari uh, numerals around the 11th century common uh, era. It is also a place value system where 1 is uh, unit 10, 1 uh, and 0. This is 10, 100, 100 is expressed by 1 and 2 zeros, 1000 is, is expressed by 1 and 3 zeros and similarly you can find any number, you can use any number by adding zeros. Now besides these two uh, systems of notation, one is the numerical system of notation, the other one is the decimal place value notation, there is again 
another system of notation which was known to the people of ancient India. Ancient India. And this is known as the chronogrammatic notation. And in Sanskrit language, there is only one word to indicate a number that is eko, dvi, tri, etc. But there are several other words that can be somehow associated with particular numbers. Such words often denote things, beings or concepts and have some association with the numbers. They were used by early astronomers and mathematicians in their metrical compositions. The application of the principle of place value is another important characteristic of this system. Like decimal place value notation, this chronogrammatic notation uh, is also the principle of place value notation is used. The chronograms are arranged in accordance with positional value and unlike the decimal system, here the units are mentioned first followed by the chronograms of higher orders. In the decimal place value notation, we find the units are used first and then uh, it is followed by positional value. But here in chronogrammatic notation, the chronograms of higher orders are uh, made first or used first and then lesser numbers, lesser units are mentioned. In other words, the chronograms are arranged from left to right but in order to obtain the required number, they are to be reversed. For example, in order to indicate the number 2017, we may use the words like Sindhu, Sasi, Gagana, Nayana, where Sindhu stands for 7, Sapta Sindhu, Sasi for 1, Sasi means moon, uh, it indicates 1, Gagana for 0 and Nayana or I for 2, 2 eyes. Sindhu, Sasi, Gagana, Nayana. If we reverse the order, we can get the desired number 2017. Sindhu stands for 7, Sasi for 0, Gagana for 1 and Nayana for 2. And they can, these can be reversed. From You can start from 2, uh, Nayana, Gagana, Sasi and Sindhu. That is why uh, you can say 2107. And this particular system is known as Ankanam Bamotagati or uh, it is to be moved from uh, right to left 2107. If you reverse the order, then you can get the number 2017. Use of chronogrammatic system. The system was popular in metrical compositions. Most of the metrical compositions, they uh, while uh, uh, using the figures, they were using such type of uh, chronograms. Uh, in their compositions, metrical compositions. Later on, the system was also popularized in inscriptions. From uh, 10th, 11th century inscriptions of India, we find uh, uh, the use of chronogrammatic uh, system. It is mostly found in the epigraphs of medieval period. Starting from 10th, 11th century to 17th, 18th century, we find this type of chronogrammatic system. Now, in South India, uh, a separate, a distinct method was used or system was used and this was known as Katapayadi system and the name is derived from the letters from different burghers of the consonants. The letters of alphabets had some numerical value. The name is derived from the class of consonants from which the number started. Ka stands for 1, Ta stands for 1, Pa again stands for 1. Vowels were devoid of any numerical. In this particular system, vowels had no numerical value at all. Only consonants uh, were having some numerical value, number value. Uh, in conjunct consonants, only the last consonant has a numerical value. The first consonant has absolutely no value. Only the last consonant uh, has some numerical value. The right to left arrangement is followed. In this system, the right to left arrangement is followed. Now, in this slide, you can very well uh, know how uh, or uh, which letter uh, is uh, to be uh, uh, denoted by which figure. Now, in the first column, you find ka, ta, pa, ya, they denote 1. Similarly, in the second column, you will find kha, uh, ta, pa, ra, they denote 2. Similarly, ga, Da, ba, la, they denote 3, gha, dha, bha, va, they denote 4, uh, na, na, ma, sa, they denote 5. In the sixth column, you will find cha, ta, sa. 
seventh column cha tha sa in the eighth column ja da ha they denote eight similarly ja dha la they denote nine and uh, uh, nya and na these two dentals they denote zero so this is the katapayadi system that was prevalent in south india that too in the uh, later part of early medieval period and uh, in the medieval period now uh, there are two distinct methods which were used in ceylon and burma in manuscript writings of ceylon we find another system that is a very peculiar system that was practiced in ceylon and in uh, ceylon is manuscripts another method of numeration was uh, used which was very much akin to katapayadi system according to this system uh, ka ka ki ku etc and uh, uh, had the value respectively of 1 to 16 now here you can find one letter one consonant consonant is um, added with some medials and all total there are 16 such uh, medials which were added to the consonant and they actually represent 1 to 16 and similarly the other 33 consonants with 16 akharas each were similarly numbered continuously up to 544 that is the last uh, figure of uh, the uh, manuscript pagination and similarly when the manuscript exceeds 544 then you will find again uh, the repetition would be there the numbers beyond 544 were expressed by beginning again as 2 ka 2 ka 2 ki 2 ki etc and so on these are the 34 letters class of letters ka kha ga ga wa cha cha ja janya ta tha da dhana ta tha da dhana pa pha ba bha ma la ya ra la 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 so 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 ha kya the jada 34 letters which uh, are used in silonic manuscript the above 34 letters have 16 numbers each with the application of medials and they denote certain numbers they could be consecutively numbered up to 544 34 into 16 it comes to 544 after that the system is repeated with the addition of two before the consonant thus two ka represents to 545 and so on now similarly in burma uh, the manuscript writers used uh, almost a similar pattern of pagination and in burma the same letter same system was used with the omission of ra ra la and la so that ka to ka would indicate the numbers from 1 to 12 summary now we shall come to the summary thus the asokan edicts furnish the earliest evidence of the use of some notational system in india and as we have discussed that the minor rock edict one gives an idea about the use of brahmi uh, numerical notation 256 is the number which is uh, mentioned in the uh, minor rock edicts of asoka the numerical system of notation in brahmi with 20 symbols was probably originated in india sometime before 3rd century Uh, BCE, when Asoka used the system, this was an additive and multiplicative system. It was later on popularized by many subsequent ruling dynasties like the Satavanas, the Sakakhetrapas, the Kushanas, the Guptas, and their contemporaries. Because in all in the inscriptions of all these dynasties, we come to know about the use of the numerical system of notation, and uh, particularly in the Western Khetrapa coins and inscriptions, we find. Uh, in each and every coin and coin of sakakya western khetrapas we find the reference to uh, the dates which are mentioned in the uh, coins now similarly the guptas they dated their inscriptions in their own era and uh, while using their era they also used the numerical system of notation and all the contemporaries of the guptas they had also used it. and particularly so far as as we have already discussed the satavahana inscription Uh, particularly the uh, nanaghat inscription of nayanika uh, the queen of satakarni this is one inscription where you can find a number of figures which has been expressed in um, the numerical uh, system of notation and the next system of notation that is the decimal place value not- system of notation uh, uh, was widely used today uh, 
uh, it was again originated in India in the 6th century common era. It, it first of all travelled to Southeast Asia, more, more, uh, more precisely to Cambodia and Indonesia, then to Ceylon and subsequently to Persia by the Arabs. From there, the Europeans, they borrowed the system. The chronogrammatic system was in use in metrical texts of early India, mostly the uh, astronomers and uh, mathematicians of early India of the Gupta time. They used the system of chronograms in their works to connote different numerical figures. Inscriptional use of the system dates back to 8th century common era, but it was widely popular in the inscriptions of India after 11th century common era. The Katapayadi system could be termed as letter or consonant numeration method, where the each consonant had certain number value. It was mostly practiced in South Indian inscriptions from 11 to 14th century common era. In the Silonese and Burmese manuscripts, uh, we come across another system of numeration by the use of letters of the alphabets. This is all about the ancient Indian uh, numerals and numerical systems which were uh, practiced in the uh, texts and the inscriptions. Thank you.